Thank you for joining us, everyone, today. We're here with Crystal Kohinski of the Fontbonne University women's soccer team. How are you doing today, Crystal? I am amazing. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Griffins. You know, a great season you guys have had. Um, some record-setting seasons for you, for Mary, for the team themselves. Can you just talk about the season as a whole so far? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, coming into this season, we were a majority of a new team. Um, as you know, we graduated uh, five of our starting lineup last year. So um, in coming in, we were a little nervous. We weren't sure what to expect. You know, a lot of new faces, a lot of new people. Um, but as the season's gone on, you know, we've gotten more excited. We're comfortable. You know, we play completely different than we did last year. Um, but, you know, it's exciting to see us go 3-0 and in conference. And, of course, we always want that the repeat in the conference tournament, of course. But um, it's just been an amazing season. The girls are great. The team's great. Dylan's great. You know, it's been a fun season uh, trying to learn how to adapt to all of our new people. So um, they've been a big part of our success. Yeah, and as you mentioned, uh, you lost, you know, five players, five stars from last year. So you've been kind of the focus for the team offensively. That hasn't slowed you down. Uh, Double-digit goals, double-digit assists. Um, what do you like better? Do you like scoring a goal? I mean, obviously, that would be the easy answer. Or do you like maybe setting up somebody for a goal? Yeah, so it's going to be kind of weird, but I love assisting. Um, <laughs> I mean, I kind of kind of expected that answer a little bit. Um, yeah. But it's just, you know, I'm not as much as my stats may differ um, from what I'm about to say, but uh, I'm very much n like a low level player. I don't really like the whole glory of scoring a goal. Of course, <laughs> one is every now and then is good. You know, I want to score goals, of course, but um, letting somebody else just, you know, get that feeling as well. Um, brings me more joy to see somebody else score a goal um, than it, it would be myself, you know. So brings yeah. brings a little little happiness to, to my books, you know, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> right, of course. Um, you, you kind of have a bit of an odd journey, right? You started out yeah. at a fellow SLAC school, formerly McMurray College, and then joined Fompon after McMurray, McMurray closed. Can you tell everyone kind of a little bit what that was like being part of a school that went through such a tough time in closing down? Yeah, it was really hard. Um, we didn't even really see it kind coming. It was kind of blindsided. Um, we really thought we were going to come back after spring break and then didn't. Um, so having that transition from Mac Murray to Fonfon, you know, in school terms wise, they kind of resemble each other a little bit, which is kind of, kind of why I was drawn to Fonfon so well. Um, but going from in a soccer aspect, you know, they were a little bit different. Um, so it was just really exciting to come to a school where, you know, not only academically am I going to excel, but we're going to excel on the soccer field, too. So that whole process, you know, having it close um, was very emotional. I'm very sad, but it was really exciting to see a school welcome you with open arms, you know, because they opened it up to all McMurray students. Unfortunately, I was the only one that came to Fon Bon, but um, it was just really nice to have the schools and the people and the support, you know, to go through that process with as well. So do you still stay in touch with anybody from McMurray from your time there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I coach a, I don't know, uh, coach a and coach Mantle work at Blackburn. Um, mm -hmm. we talk to them all the time. Um, I still talk to a few of the soccer girls. I was actually invited to one of their weddings on Saturday, but unfortunately oh. I couldn't make it, but um, yeah, so we stay, stay in contact, you know, still, still love all of them, you know, distance wise, of course, cause I don't get to see them a lot, but, um, I still talk to a few of them. Yeah. As you mentioned just a little bit ago about the success of the Fompon women's soccer program, since you've arrived three straight regular season titles, um, you, you secured this one a couple of weeks ago already for this, the mm -hmm. 2022 season. Uh, what was it like coming into a program? that was kind of established um, and having success and then kind of finding your way and fitting into that program? Yeah, um, I was excited uh, to come into a program who, you know, one of their big selling points was to me coming here was, you know, we're right there to get that ring. We're right there to win those conferences, you know, like they were like, we just need a little push. And so I was like, okay, you know, I like to win. I was like, I like to be a part of that, a program like that. Uh, so coming here, having us win that, um, fighting for my spot, I knew coming in, I was going to have to put in the work in order to 
play, you know, of course. And so coming in, I was like, wow, these girls are good. They're just as good as me, if not better. I, and you know, I'm, I like a challenge. So it was, it was fun to come in and earn that spot. And even last year, even this year, you know, every year I come in, I'm like, okay, I have to earn it back. Cause like nothing solidified, you know, you always have to earn that spot. So um, I like a little competition. So it was, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good. A couple more questions for you. Uh, you're an exercise major, uh, exercise science major. What mm -hmm. would you like to do after graduation? Yeah. So I'm actually going to take a semester off. So this spring, not by choice, of course, uh, I will be putting in the work, uh, making some money. And then starting in the spring of uh, May of 23, I will be going to SLU and I will be getting my master's in athletic training. Okay. Great. Yes. What, 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 what led you into wanting to be an athletic trainer? It was, so it's going to sound a little funny, um, but I tore my ACL uh, my junior year of high school and then going through two surgeries, my ACL, and my meniscus, um, being in PT all the time. I was like, this seems like something I kind of want to do. Uh, getting to school realizing that organic chemistry was something I was going to have to take to get to PT. I said, absolutely not. I don't want to take that class. And they were like, well, AT, you know, athletic training, it's just, it's the same thing, just athlete based. And you don't have to be as in depth in, in the biochemistry and the organic chemistry. And I was like, yep, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds like for me. And the more I get into it, the more I study it, you know, the more internships hours I get in, you know, it just seems like that's, that's what I was made to do. So um, little funny route, but I got here and that's kind of why, you know, I'm just really excited. <laughs> Yeah, sounds good. Uh, well, we want to wish you the best of luck the rest of the season, uh, including the regular season this weekend at Westminster and then off to the SLAC tournament next week. So thanks again for joining us, Crystal. Really enjoyed talking to you and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much.